Eagles up the middle, Rayshard racing away from everybody. He's trying to take it the distance inside the 10. When I get the ball and I run through the middle and I, and I get to open space, it's a calming feeling. It's all I hear is my pads moving. All I hear is my breathing. I don't really hear anybody screaming or anything like that. Everything kind of goes still. It moves slow. And it's crazy because after every long run, I come back and I ask somebody, was I running fast? <laughs> because I, I honestly don't know because when I get to that level, it's almost like a zone. Richard looks for a hole and finds it left side. 25, 20. It's like you're in this realm, you're in this zone. When I break through and, and get to open space and start to run, it's like a even kill straight to the end zone. Like again, like I, d I don't hear anything but my pads and, and, and me breathing. That's how I feel when I have the ball in my hand. As an underclassman, you know, what I see is every year, you know, I wanted to be able to play for them, uh, especially, you know, those guys that ended up having to leave their senior year 0-12 or 1-11. You know, that really hurt me that they left that way. And I'm thankful for the freshmen and the sophomores and the underclassmen of this team uh, this year, all the work they put in so that, you know, I wouldn't end up that way and that I'm going out with the bang, per se. Those are the things that you play for. You play for yourself. You play for your team. If you're not playing for each other and you're not, you know, doing it for each other, it's never going to work. And that's the mindset that you have to go into it about. So it wasn't per se that they were playing for us, but we were playing for each other. Where, whether on my right or on my left, I have a senior to my left or a junior to my right or, you know, freshman or sophomores in front of me when I'm on the field while playing for each other. I was expecting the family atmosphere that I saw when I came on my visit. I was expecting to win because that's what Southern Miss is all about. That's what Southern Miss has done in the past and has proven itself to be. Having a winning tradition and a winning um, football program. So I was expecting all those things, but it didn't quite work out that way. I, we've had some tough years since I've gotten here. Um, you know, to know that everything that I thought that I would get two or three years ago has finally fulfilled itself. Everything happens for a reason. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a very deep believer in that, and I just stayed uh, in prayer. Uh, it was a very blessed situation, a humbling situation um, to go through that because, I mean, not too many people go through a year of not winning a game of football to next year when your team wins that you're not there. So again, you still have two years of college football and you haven't won a game yet. And I just knew that, uh, you know, I just felt my, down in my heart that my time would come to, you know, to experience that in college and my time to be able to uh, put in the work and actually help the team win a game and be able to play in a game rather than being on the sideline and watching them win without me. So, you know, again, I just stayed working hard and, and just knew my time would come. It was very humbling and in that whole situation, just staying in prayer and just focusing on what I can do and what I can better myself in to help the team uh, do is what I focus on. So I just stayed working hard. That's all I know. That's all I've ever done. That's what got me here. So I just went back to those things, went back to the things that I did uh, extra. And, you know, it worked out in my benefit and for the benefit of the team. And I ended up getting my first college win my junior year, uh, playing against North Texas, coming back off another injury. Um, so it was a great feeling. After going through what we went through in the summer work, workout, seeing how everybody was training, seeing how everybody was buying into the new strength coach with Coach Woodfin and just buying into our system and Coach Munkin with him being his third year here, just everybody finally buying in. Finally got some guys out of here that you know didn't want to buy in and brought in some great guys, some, some guys that could really help this team this year. So going into camp and leaving out of camp, I just knew that we would shock some people. In the back of our minds, we kind of knew that we had that ability. We knew that this was going to kind of happen this year. Richard's going to have a return from the five near the right hash. At the 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, right side at the 40. Richard's still on his feet. It's a foot race down the right sideline. Richard, they won't catch him. Jalen Richard, touchdown Southern Miss. Richard with about a 95-yard kickoff return. There are no flags on the play.
We play for Hattiesburg, we play for the USM. And to be able to give back to that community the way that we do with this season that we did, um, it's a great feeling. Like I said, I expect those things to come back to, you know, that's what got me here, the family atmosphere. I knew this city was crazy about, you know, USM football, crazy about being in the rock. And since I've been here, even when we were down and out, we still had people doing those same things, you know, coming to the buses after we've gotten back to the AC and being outside and greeting us and telling us we'll be okay and we'll get back. And to now where it's like, okay, good job. And you know, again, we still have that same gratitude for those people.